Okay guys, it is decision making time on the slitter cutter creaser. Um, I went camping with some friends this weekend and when I told them that the big thing that I came back with that I really thought I should purchase from the show is a slitter cutter creaser, they thought that was a joke. Um, but no, that's real, it's a slitter cutter creaser, although I like to add slitter cutter creaser perfer to the mix. Um, it's pretty much down between the Duplo DC618, which I saw demoed at the show, as well as the AeroCut X that MBM sells uh, out of Charleston, South Carolina. Um, and so I'm gonna go over some of the key points of why I'm gonna make the decision that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna let that simmer, see if there's comments that sway me a different way, but I think I have come to a decision on this one. So you can see here the Duplo is a little bit more, it's actually kind of like a bench top unit that's on a stand, so to speak. And you have to have a computer that runs it um, as well. So um, that's one interesting take. The Arrow Cut is actually more of a floor based model unit. Uh, it's not really bench top and it's, it's, if you look at the weight between the two machines, this machine weighs 200 pounds heavier. So it's, it's more of like a true floor unit. I think when I was at the show, one of the most glaring differences that you see between the two units is where the waste goes. The waste in the Duplo goes inside the bottom of the machine. The waste on the arrow cut goes to the side of the machine on the outside. And so from what I've talked about with some people is that the Duplo can actually, the waste basket can fill up quickly and get to the point where the waste can kind of go back up into the unit and cause jams. And so minor thing, but I do feel like that would be kind of a pain to not know how much waste is happening inside there, having to check that often versus simply seeing the waste that's coming out and knowing that you got to replace that basket. Um, the other big difference is the, the arrow cut machine doesn't require a separate computer to run the unit. It has its own touchscreen with LAN capability built into it. So there's no, no reason to buy a separate computer to run this unit. I have enough computers around here that I have to plug in. Um, one less computer would be amazing. The AeroCut has like an open design for seeing the paper flow through the unit. And uh, the Duplo just has a lot of modules that are built into it and it blocks the, the flow, uh, it blocks the view of the flow of paper. So you can't really see what's happening as it's running through. I just think it'd be nice to be able to see what's happening, where, where the cutters are, see what's going on as it's coming out during the process of it being fed through the machine versus just having to see the results at the end. Of also it. with the cartridges or modules, whatever Duplo calls them, um, a lot of times you have to change modules out for different jobs. You have to pull them out to clear out jams and, and such. You don't have to do that with the arrow cut. And so in my book, in terms of training new employees, I feel like arrow cut would be a little bit easier because you don't have all of that to deal with. Both units do integrate with Fiery Impose. And so in terms of setup, they both do the same thing there, which is really what I'm looking for. I want barcodes to be able to be printed out on the job so the machine can read it, adjust itself, and cut the job at the end of the day. If I could get that workflow set up, I know that training new employees and training someone how to do this type of work is going to make it a breeze. And that's the whole point of buying this machine in the first place. I think the biggest thing for me is I know the guys at MBM, they're based out of Charleston, South Carolina, which is like three hours away from here. Um, Dan uh, came up and set up our folding machine. Um, and he would be the guy that would come set up this machine for us. He told me about this machine months ago and at the time i was like ah that sounds so expensive um speaking of um, so sales and support i think is super super important but um in terms of expense for this machine we are looking at 
Uh, their list price is $42,199. They are doing a printed United special. That's good until December the 20th of $34,950. So their leasing option uh, was 60 months at $787. Um, I can actually buy it for cheaper than that. So i um, not sure what my payments would be, but I don't think it will be more than, more than $750 a month. Um, this, let's see. One year parts warranty, excluding wearables. Dock to dock freight and installation is included. So that's a $650 value there. Uh, training by factory MBM included as well, $500 value. So uh, training and support means everything to us. I've learned my lesson with the laser that if you buy a piece of equipment, um, <laughs> training is worth everything. And uh, I would have, Definitely made my money back on lasering if someone came with it and trained us up on how to use it. I don't have an exact quote on the Duplo, but the sales guy at the show was telling me that it came with the computer and it was also going to be in the 30s. And so I think both units are pretty equally priced. Um, although... Per Perhaps, um, and, and I don't know what they would have charged freight wise. I don't know what they would have charged, um, you know, for all that. So, um, anyways, very similarly priced units from what I understand. In terms of speed, they are pretty similar. The Duplo is 23 sheets per minute. The um, Arrow Cut is 24 sheets per minute. So, speed wise, Arrow Cut. A little bit faster. All right, just so I can get this video finished, I thought I had gotten footage of the Arrow Cut X at the show, but I had actually only gotten footage of the Arrow Cut X Pro, which is about twenty thousand dollars more. Um, the only major feature of that one is I believe it might be a little bit faster, and I think it's also has the ability of doing jump cuts, like jump perfing. Um, which was neat in some areas, but just totally not worth $20,000 for my business. So here's a little bit of footage of that and just a smidgen of footage of the Duplo. Yeah. So you can say you got a job there. It's going to take it through. It's going to read the barcode. Now it's coming out the other one. Okay, now I can take my catcher and uh, do that, make sure it's in line. Good start, and now it finishes up the job. And that's the only, I don't want to do that once a day unless you've yeah. got different sizes that you're going to put through by 19 sheets instead of 12 by 18. Yeah, that's typically what we run. Right. But it'll, it'll do, you know, but each side you change the paper. They don't fall out. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Oh, that's very cool. Well, that's it guys. I do believe I'm gonna sign on the dotted line soon. Um, I'm a little too busy to sign a signature at the moment. Um, but yeah, I have time to do this video, sure. Um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, if you have any additional thoughts before I make a huge mistake here, please chime in. I appreciate everybody's feedback. Take care and I'll see you soon.